channel i hope everybody is having an amazing day so far as you guys can tell i am having quite the amazing day the amazing week actually my husband and i are currently in hawaii hawaii we've been here on vacation for the last week and it has been amazing one of you guys actually slid into my dms and requested an outfits of the week video and i was like that is a great idea so that is what we're doing today it's partially an outfits of the week video partially a travel diary and then also just like a vacation outfits idea video where you guys can just get inspired for your upcoming vacations if you're wondering what to bring and if you guys are not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button down below to join the family and with that let's hop right on in on Wednesday, we flew into Kauai. We flew Hawaiian Airlines. I highly recommend them. It was an awesome flight and like it was just a really good experience. We flew into Lahui Airport and our hotel shuttle came and picked this up. Now for traveling, I always like to be super comfortable. And since we were going to be landing in a place that was going to be very warm and humid, I wanted to wear something that definitely was breathable, but also had some layering going on for the flight. I wore this burnt orange cami paired with linen pants, my favorite brown braided sandals. And for my third piece, I wore my trusty denim jacket. For accessories, I wore one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses. These are just the pretty much knockoff Ray-Bans. I got them at Princess Polly. And for necklaces, I am wearing one of my go-to gold chokers layered with this gold Monstera necklace. This outfit was a perfect thing to wear because it was so breathable and comfortable. And once we landed, I could just take off the denim jacket and I was ready to embrace the warm Hawaiian air. On Thursday, we rented a Jeep and decided to do some exploring. Now I, I can't even recommend you guys enough. If you go to Hawaii, go rent a Jeep and do some exploring because it just was so fun. Having the top down and driving around was just, it was an amazing experience. We decided to drive up north towards Hanalei Bay and just explore for a couple hours and we just drove around and had fun. So for this day of adventure, I wore this red Hawaiian print dress, my brown braided sandals, and my little brown woven backpack. I got a little crazy and I threw on some Cusco earrings and for my necklaces I'm wearing that gold choker once again layered with this seashell necklace This outfit was a perfect thing to wear on a day of exploring. It was lightweight It was flowy and it just made it easy to run around in Okay, Friday I think was my favorite day out of the whole week in Hawaii, and it was just so fun and special. In the morning we explored Poipu and we had breakfast there, and then in the evening we went to a luau. Going to a luau was the number one thing I was most excited to experience when going to Hawaii, because I think the culture and history of Hawaii is so beautiful, and just getting to be a part of that experience and see people who are so proud of their culture, who are representing it and telling the story and the history of who they are and their ancestors was so cool and so special to me. The luau we went to was Luau Kalamaku, and let me just say it was one of the most amazing performances I have ever been to. I genuinely cried multiple times throughout the performance it was so beautiful and everybody was just so talented to the luau I wanted to wear something that was a little bit dressed up but still had a nice vacation vibe I wore an off-the-shoulder red Hawaiian print jumpsuit paired with open toe woven mules and a woven bag for jewelry I again had some fun and I wore these white hoopy beaded earrings paired with my shell necklace my monster necklace and my gold choker my husband and I, we had a great time, so if you are going to Kauai anytime soon, please do this dinner, please go see this show, and see all the talented people. The luau was by far my favorite thing from this whole trip, and we did a lot of really fun things. Saturday was a super chill day. I had to catch up on some projects, so I ended up spending most of the day editing, and then we ended up going to the pool for a while, had some dinner at the hotel, and then finished off the evening with an escape room. Most of the day I spent in my Rolling Stones t-shirt and some leggings, but when we actually went out and did things, to the pool I wore white denim shorts and then when we went out to the escape room, I swapped them out for my brown corduroy high-waisted shorts. Wow, a mouthful. 
The escape room we did was called, I think, Curse of the Tiki Room, and we barely made it out. We made it out with less than 10 seconds. It was kind of crazy. We got like really stuck in the middle, and then in the last five minutes, we figured everything out and then just made it with six seconds to spare. On Sunday, we went ATVing in the morning, and the rest of the day, we just had another pool day. We had a lot of pool days because it was just such beautiful weather. We were like, heck yeah, let's go to the pool again. We went ATVing at Kipu Ranch and the tour was three hours long, so quite a long time. And we went through all of these like iconic movie spots where they've shot Indiana Jones and Jurassic Park and just all of these huge movies, which was super cool to see. We drove through jungle areas, we drove through water, it even started raining. It's starting to rain, this is gonna be exciting. And after ATVing for I think about two and a half hours, you go stop at this place where there's this beautiful bamboo forest with a path that leads down to a waterfall. Everywhere you looked was beautiful and lush and green. So for the actual ATV experience, I just wore some workout clothes because on the website it said, you will get dirty and I really got dirty. I was just covered in mud by the end of the day. So after ATVing, we went back to the hotel, I showered and I changed into the outfit that I spent the rest of the day in. I threw on a light brown rib tank top, my high-waisted corduroy shorts, a linen button up over top, my brown braided sandals and a brown braided belt. We spent the rest of the day hanging out at the hotel, at the pool, at the beach that the hotel was on. We kind of just hung out and ate snow cones and laid out. On Monday, we went paddle boarding and I wore that same workout outfit from the day before. Paddle boarding was super fun. I got a funky tan and I did fall into the river. <laughs> But overall, it was a good time. Once we got back into the hotel, I changed into this black and red Hawaiian print maxi dress that I actually thrifted at the Rose Bowl flea market. And though I had not tried it on till that moment, I was like pretty shook to find that the dress fit perfectly. My friend Leah actually found this at the Rose Bowl flea market for me. So thank you, Leah. You picked out the most perfect, well-fitting dress ever. Bless you, bless you. Bless you, I got that on camera. Tuesday was our last full day and we wanted to end the trip by doing something really fun. So we decided to do one of our favorite activities, zip lining. So this day I actually kind of changed my outfit a lot throughout the day. So I started off in the morning with a white cami, high-waisted corduroy shorts, a white linen button up over top, and white sneakers. Now after the tour, my bug bites actually started getting really, really itchy. I have not mentioned this yet, but when we went paddle boarding, we went on a hike through the jungle and I got over 100 bug bites. I kid you not, over 100, we counted. So to keep me from scratching in the car on the way back, I swapped from shorts into linen pants. We ended up making a pit stop at Walmart to get me some anti-itch cream, which helped immensely, but oh, the bug bites, they, they still itch, they're pretty gnarly. <laughs> they were so far. It didn't look so far, but it was. <laughs> and then since it was our last night in Kauai, we decided we wanted to go for a very fancy dinner and just like have a grand old time. So we decided to actually go back to Gaylord's, which was the fine dining restaurant on the Luau property. The dinner was amazing. The food was so good once again. It was just the perfect way to end the trip. On Wednesday, it was sadly time to leave and go back home. So for my airport outfit, I just wanted to wear something really comfortable and low key and chill. So I just wore an oversized t-shirt paired with biker shorts. For shoes, I'm just wearing my Nike Cortezes. And for socks, yes, I am gonna point them out. They are so stinking cute. They are green and they have little corgis on them. So cute. And that is what I wore on my week in Hawaii. That is a wrap on today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you've been looking for some outfit ideas and some inspo on your upcoming vacation or trip you might be planning, I hope you guys got some. Um, if you guys have a favorite outfit from today's video, leave it in the comment section down below because I'd love to know. And if you guys are planning a trip anywhere in the near future, let me know where you're going because I don't know, I like seeing where you guys are going. I actually don't have a quote of the day because I came ill prepared for filming on the beach, but I will insert a quote of the day up here so there's some uh
inspiration that can still be had. So this is the quote of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Think on it as we go into the week. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video.